Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install Recallbox 4.1 on your Raspberry Pi. I'm also going to go over running games from a USB drive. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3, but this will work on a Raspberry Pi 1, 2, or 3. Before you get started, there's a few things you're going to need. Obviously, a Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card. I'm using a 16 gigabyte micro SD and a USB stick. Now in this picture, I have a 16 gig, but I'm actually using a 32. I'm also using a dual fan heatsink. This is not necessary, but I'm going to leave a link to Amazon down below if you want to go ahead and pick one of those up. You'll also need some type of controller. Now I'm using the GameSir G3S, one of my favorite controllers to use with a Raspberry Pi. It comes with a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. You'll need a micro SD card reader if your laptop or PC doesn't have one and a 2.5 amp power supply. Everything will be listed in the description below. You can go ahead and pick them up on Amazon fairly cheap. With the hardware out of the way, it's time to move on to the software. I'm going to be moving over to my PC. I'm going to show you where to go to download everything and how to set this up. Let's move over there now. Now that we have all the hardware out of the way, it's time to flash the recall box image to our SD card so we can boot it up on the Raspberry Pi. We're going to need to go ahead and grab two things, the recall box image and etcher. I'm going to leave links in the description for you guys. You can head over to the recall box archive page. Now these are the releases for recall box 4.1. I'm on the Raspberry Pi 3, but this will work on the Raspberry Pi 1, 2, or 3. I'm going to download the recallbox.img. Now we need to get a program to flash it to our SD card. I'm going to be using Etcher. Etcher is very easy to use. It does support Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm on Windows and I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to grab the Etcher for Windows X64 Portable. It's going to download real quick for us. My recall box image is almost finished. Wait for everything to download. When you have everything downloaded, go ahead and drag it to your desktop for easy access. I have Etcher here. This is the portable version. And I also have the recallbox.image. I'm going to extract the recallbox image. I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract it with WinRAR. I'll leave a link in the description for that program also. So now we have the recallbox image right here, recallbox.img. It's a disk image file. I already have my 16 gigabyte SD card inserted into my PC. It is drive F, 16 SD F, totally empty. We're gonna launch Etcher, run. This is a very simple program. We need to select the image. So I'm gonna click select image. I'm gonna to navigate to my desktop, open up the recallbox.img we just extracted and double click. For the device, it automatically detected my SD card but you really need to make sure. Remember I said mine's drive F? I'm sure that this is my SD card. You can always change the drive here but remember to note the drive letter of your SD card. You don't wanna flash this to anything else. Continue and click flash. This is going to go ahead and put the recall box image on our SD card so we can boot it up on our Raspberry Pi. Give it a little while. This could take some time, so sit back and relax. Our flash is now complete. Our SD card is ready to be inserted into the Raspberry Pi and booted up. Before we move over there, like I mentioned in the beginning, we're going to be running our games off of a USB stick. I just closed Etcher down. Now I'm going to insert my USB stick into my PC and format it NTFS. And I'm also going to rename it so I know exactly which one I'm choosing in recall box. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. New volume. The drive letter is V. I'm going to right click. Format. From the drop down menu here. NTFS. And I'm just going to name it something I'll remember like USB recall. You can name it whatever you'd like as long as you remember what it's named. Click start. Okay. It's going to format the drive for me. Format is complete. Click okay and exit. Now it's time to move over to the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to place my freshly flashed SD card into the Pi. I'm going to plug in my controller and I'm going to power it up. The first boot of recall box could take a little while. This really depends on the speed of your SD card. As long as you see this, 
you're good to go. Just sit back and let it boot up. Now we have Recallbox 4.1 running on a Raspberry Pi 3. I've already plugged my controller in. If you're using an Xbox 360 controller, it should already be set up for you. I'm using a GameSir G3S controller with a wireless dongle. I'm going to hold A on my controller. It's going to bring up the configure input menu. Just read the prompts. Hold my A button. This is my D-pad. Up, down, left, right. My left joystick up. My left joystick left. My right joystick up. My right joystick left. A, B, X, Y. Start, select. L1, R1, L2, R2. These are my analog sticks. You press them in. L3, R3. And the hotkey I set up as select, but if you're using an Xbox 360 controller or Xbox One controller, use the middle Xbox button. When you get to OK, press the A button. So if we go through here, there are some pre-installed games that are free to use. You can start playing right now if you'd like to. But we want more games on here. So I'm going to be running my games from a USB stick. I'm going to go ahead and grab my USB stick that I formatted NTSF. And I'm going to plug it into the Pi. Wait about five seconds. Press start on your controller. Go to system settings. From here, we want to scroll down to storage device. And change it to our USB stick. Remember, I named mine USB recall. If you want to run your games from an SD card, that's totally fine. You'll have to make sure this is set to internal and you'll have to transfer your games over network. I find it easier for new users to just use a USB stick. So I chose USB recall. I'm gonna go down to close. The system will now reboot. Click OK. What this is gonna do is make a folder on our USB stick that we can stick all of our games and BIOSes in. Press OK. Let it reboot. Now that it's rebooted, our USB stick is ready to put ROMs on. I'm going to move back over to my PC, plug that USB stick in, and I'll show you the folders that Recallbox just created for us. Let's move over to the PC now. All right, so I'm back at the PC. I'm going to go ahead and transfer some games to my USB stick. I'm going to open up my USB stick. Inside of that USB stick, there should now be a folder called Recallbox. We're going to open that up. We have our BIOSes. Cheats, Extractions, Kodi, Music, ROMs, Saves, Screenshots, and System. We're going to be focusing on the ROMs folder. Open it up. I also have some ROMs on my PC here. So on the left is my Recall Box USB stick. On my right are my games I have on my PC. I'm only going to transfer a couple here. So what I'm going to do is go to my SNES folder on my recall box USB drive. Then I'll find some SNES games. Now these can all stay zipped. I'm just gonna transfer a few over. I'm gonna back up on my USB stick and my PC. I'm gonna find NES and I'm gonna put some NES games on my USB stick. You can continue doing this until you fill everything up. It's really up to you. Now, if you want to play Dreamcast or PlayStation 1 or Game Boy Advance, you will need a BIOS. I can't show you where to get ROMs or BIOSes, but if you do a quick Google search, you should be able to find everything you need. Now that I have some games on my USB stick, I'm going to move back over to my Raspberry Pi, plug the USB stick in, reboot one time. I'm going to show you how to get some artwork, and then we're going to play a game. Let's move back over to the Raspberry Pi now. So I just plugged the USB stick back into my Raspberry Pi. When you press a button on your controller, it might ask you to reconfigure the controller. That's because we transferred all of the configuration files over to the USB drive. It's totally fine. It'll only ask you this last time. Press start on your controller. Scroll down to quit. Restart system. Yes. Now that the Pi's rebooted, if we go to one of the systems that we added games to, we should see them in here. These are the games I added. And I don't know why I added Beauty and the Beast. It was just something I pulled over. Either way, I'm going to show you the NES folder also.
So you might have noticed we don't have any artwork for the games we just added. We can fix that very easily, but we need to be online. You can either use Wi-Fi or Ethernet. To use Wi-Fi, press start on your controller. Scroll down to network settings. Make sure enable Wi-Fi is on. From here, you have to put the Wi-Fi SSID, that's the name of your Wi-Fi, plus the password. Then you'll be connected to your Wi-Fi. I'm gonna plug in a ethernet cable because it's so much easier. Now I have my ethernet cable plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and scrape the systems we don't have any artwork for. Press start on your controller. Like I said, you need to be online for this to work. We're gonna scroll down to scraper. Scrape from screen scraper or the games DB. I use screen scraper. Scrape now. You can choose the systems you wanna scrape. You can also choose only missing images or all games. I'm gonna leave it at only missing images. I'm gonna scrape all. I'm gonna scroll down to start. This will automatically find the box art for us and place it in the correct location. My 13 games were scraped successfully. One was skipped. It probably couldn't find the artwork for that game. It's totally fine with me. I'll press okay. And now when we go back to the selected system, we have box art for the games we added. I'm going to go ahead and start Joe and Mac, one of my favorite games of all time. You're now playing your favorite retro games on your Raspberry Pi 3 running Recall Box 4.1. Go ahead and start this game real quick. If you want to exit your game, you need to press start and your hotkey. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Recall Box is a really good operating system for retro gaming. Very easy to use. And in my opinion, some of the stuff just works better in Recall Box than it does in RetroPie. If you need any help with BIOSes or anything like that, you need to do a quick Google search. I'll also leave a link to the Recall Box forum down below. Like always, Thanks for watching.